Okay, I'm back. Alright, I'm setting the alarm first this time. Okay, um, had another idea. So the ghost did work. We've got to toss another ghost in first. Somewhere here starting, it says 200. We had somewhere here at the top. When it's 150, it adds a ghost. I'm actually going to make this more like 180. Yeah, I know, I know. The ghetto way of not, um, I'm just copying code here. It seems very sloppy. But that's okay. Oh, I thought of something else I need to do. All the ghosts are going to be purple. Unless, when I draw the ghosts under the timer, wherever that is, when it draws the ghosts, it needs to take into account this Z. It needs to shift it. How does it need to shift it? Just plus, just down one. So that would be here somewhere. Plus Z minus one. Alright, let's see if it adds other ghosts. Hey, and all four ghosts. They're all their own color. They're all moving. So far, so good. Okay, now, just thinking about it, if we're going to put AI in, we already have code so that if we ask the game, to, if we ask Pac Man to turn right, it's essentially what we're doing when we push the right mouse button. Or, um, right key on the keyboard, sorry. Um, and then the timer here decides whether or not we, if we actually can turn, uh, you know, based on is there a wall there, that kind of thing. Well, we ignored that this last time. That's the code right here. We use this D2 value. You know what, let's make one for the ghosts, and that way the AI on the ghosts can just use the same code. They'll constantly be trying to find their way to uh, Pac-Man, and then it'll just turn them automatically if they're supposed to turn, or if they're able to turn. So uh, well, we copy this code here. Ghosts. Oh yeah, I got Oops. Got a loop again, of course. G G G G. Are you guys tired of this yet? Because I'm getting tired of this. Okay, now, right now this code would do absolutely nothing because... Oh, wait a minute. thought of something else. Ugh. Um... Gotta adjust this down here. Where D2... G, D2... There we go. Else... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. D2 equals D2. Oh, huh, that's... It was a horrible place to... Or a horrible way to code this since in both situations it does the exact same thing. But you know what? This will work. Sloppy, sloppy. Um, and since D... G, for the, the ghost's D2 is never actually set yet, nothing should be any different. But, yeah, I wanted to run it just to make sure nothing freaks out on us. Wait, um, oh, same thing that I did before. The ghosts that aren't in yet, it's going to freak out. So we say if GA does not equal zero, then. Here we go. Okay, as long as they're in and not crashing, then that's all good. Now, if I remember right, 
uh, you know, nobody hold me to this. If I remember right, the ghosts, the difference between the four ghosts was that one ghost will always prefer to go right, one will always prefer to go left, like, uh, how do I put this, they, when it checks to see should he be, if there's a, uh, a split in the path where the ghost could go right to get to Pac-Man or he could go down to get to Pac-Man, one ghost, depending on his color, will choose the path to go right because he always tries to go right first, that's his preference. The other one, uh, one of the other ghosts, would choose to go down first because his preference is always to go down. Um, so the difference between the four ghosts was that each ghost has a different preference direction, and that's why they kind of spread out to attack you from all sides, and they don't just follow you in like a train. So somewhere in here, we need to say. Um, let's see. I'm actually. I'm not going to loop it because it's just. Well, maybe I should. Let me think here. Alright, let's do... If... Ah, uh, how do we put this? If A is greater than GA1, then GD2 of 1 equals... What are my directions here? So if A is greater, then A is to the right, so we, he needs to travel to the right. We'll do less than, less than. These are B. Um, if 3 is left, if B is greater, then that's down, and then 4 is up. Okay, so here's one ghost. The reason that I'm not going to loop this is because once I do fill this in, you'll see where I'm going with this once I change these numbers around. Or I'll explain where I'm going with this once these numbers are in. I found that it's very hard to talk and explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So, whichever order, the order of, these, of the code here, obviously for those of you um, who are paying attention, you would you would see that the first line of code would simply be replaced by the second line of code if the tradi or if the um, if the conditions held true. So actually, the last one is the ghost's preference. That's the one that it's more that it wants to choose, or it's more likely to choose. I don't, I don't know if I'm making any sense with this, but all I need to do with these ghosts is to simply rearrange and do every combination. So I do this, and there. That should, wait, I believe this, I need to swap these two. And that should be it. So, let's try it. Oh, I never did remove the code for um, selecting. But you see, the ghosts seem to act, even if they're not perfect to what the uh, original Pac-Man game was, I don't remember what it was, uh, clearly they do seem to yep, yeah, something's wrong. Clearly they seem to behave more like what we're expecting. Alright, uh, I hear my alarm going off. Let me save this.